everyone, welcome to another Greenleaf Terrain video. This time I have a MDF kit from Iron Tire Artisans that involves a uh, Coke can or beer can of your size. I've primed mine for ease of painting later. You have all the pieces that I have uh, laid out into little piles for ease of access. So we have the base. There is all these pieces that hold the can. All these pieces make up this top uh, little guy that sits on top of the can. We have all of these pieces as additives to the side of the can and the sides of these guys. This one has iron haired fuel services on it. And we have all these pieces that uh, go towards the uh, scaffolding that goes over top of the, uh, the cylinder part here. And there are all of these little um, markings here, and they are for your rear So ends. to build this guy up, I just used some uh, carpenter's glue or wood glue. And I found that attaching the cans on was better to use some super glue. I just have my uh, glue off on the side, and I'm using a paintbrush to apply it on there. But we're just going to start with putting on... the rivets. You can just stick them on. I found it was easier to put the rivets on first and then build the rest up because the rivets sit pretty close to the other pieces. They don't have to be perfect, they should be pretty much in the spot. And then you're going to need your three support pieces. So you have these two large guys and one of these frame guys has a nub on the bottom. So he is for your middle. Put a little bit of glue on him. Stick them in your middle there. And you want to make sure that the design is on the outside. So I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on those two guys. And on the back side of this piece is where this other little piece of scaffolding goes. on the back of that guy and line them up it gives a little bit of nice design to the inside of the piece so you just want to repeat the process on the other side so then it looks something like this and at this stage before everything glues in you have a little bit of flexibility so then you can stick your can in there I found for a little bit of support, I just added a little bit of super glue inside. A little dot there, a little dot at the top, a little dot there, a little dot there. And then I'm gonna slide my can in place and hold it for a second here. So you can just set this guy aside for a second and we can build up some of the other, some of these other parts. So I'm just gonna build up this top guy here. Again, I'm gonna start with the rivets. And I'll put a little bit of glue for this middle guy. So you can stick that middle guy in there. And again, there's guidelines where you can line them up correctly. And then there's some rivets. If you get extra rivets, I see I have one extra rivet. They're just extra. so it doesn't need to be in the pile anymore. And then Alex has 
put a little bit of the texture in there. So if you actually use one of these signs, you can stick one of these signs in here and you can glue these guys at an angle so it's open and once the glue dries and you can move the sign out of the way and they will stay at an angle but for purpose of this video I am just going to glue them together and we're going to stick a little bit of glue there and a little bit of glue here See, if you want to prop it open a little bit, it kind of does it by itself, but I'm going to make this one closed. So these four pieces are the frame for this guy to be able to sit on top of the can there. So I'm just going to take a little bit of glue and stick it in these guys, and then we can assemble this guy. You can just hold it kind of precariously with your fingers there if you want to. That's the way I do it. And you can stick your other guy in there. And you can make your box. And then you can be careful not to put too much pressure on your box. It's still kind of flimsy. You can add a little bit of glue to the top of it. And you can place your top on top of there. And I like to flip it upside down to get it nice and nice and straight. I'm also pushing down on my frame to attach it to the to the top there. And then we have our piece that can sit on top of here. But we will wait to apply that guy. So we will stick this guy aside and we will build up the scaffolding. Oh, I guess we could. Should have jumped to this first. Sorry. All of these little additives, oh, all of these little additives are to go on to the end here. Again, there are kind of outlines, so you kind of know where they go. So on this one side, you can place, there's a couple different versions here. You can place this solid one. And the solid one also has a guide ring on it. So add a little bit more glue to that center. And there is this cog wheel. Make sure that you put the one side that has the design on it again. So then we got that cog wheel on that side. And on this side. We have these bits to make it look like a little bit of a pipe coming out. And so you can do whatever you want. You can just add the single one and then put this hatch on there. Or you can utilize both of them and make it a little bit longer pipe. And you can place your hatch on there. straight, clean up a bit of my excess, and there you have your hatches. So now we will move on to the scaffolding. So, easiest way to do our scaffolding is to build it up flat on the base here. First thing we're going to do is put the walkway on. The walkway has design on the top, so make sure you're putting that face up. 
I'm just going to put a little bit of glue in all of the recesses here. And then it sticks into, there is top guide holes, oh, top guide holes, and then it sits along here. Clean up our excess. Because wood glue will dry bubbly and not look very nice if we don't clean up the excess. And then I have all of these rungs and you want them, again, the design to be facing up and you want them to be sitting face inside the longer part instead of facing this way, you want it to face this way. So if I'm holding it, let me see, you want it to face this way. So a bunch of holes here. I'm just going to go and put a little dab of glue in all these holes. A little bit back. And then you can just work your way up. So once you've repeat or finished the process down the left side, you can repeat the process on the right side and you'll have something that looks like this. Then you can take your other piece of scaffolding and add some glue to all spots where the nubs will fit in, some along the area where the scaffolding will go along the top, and then the same thing down the other side. And then it's a little fiddly, but don't add too much pressure and it'll work itself in there. But you just start at the top. So I just had to get my head at a certain angle that I was going to be in frame too much. And I turned it to the side. And everything slumped in perfectly. So you can stand your ladder up or your scaffolding up. And then all of the legs go. It's kind of wobbly still. But then we can bring our main piece back in. And there are two slots here and two slots on the other side. So, just add a little bit of glue into those slots. And then we can slide this guy over top. And he slides into those holes nicely. And then we can finish off Now we can take our other bits, like our top guy, add a little bit of glue to the bottom here. And he will stick on, stick on to the can here. And all these little bits are just additives to make the can look less, less of a can. And so, we can put this caution flammable liquid sign on the side here. Get up there. And we can line them up. Make sure he's even with the other guy. Maybe something like that. For these caution flammable signs, you can put them anywhere you want really, but there is a nice space, or not the caution flammable, just the, the flammable symbol. You can put them on the end caps just to give it a little bit more detail. And the Ironheart Fuel Services sign can be placed onto your scaffolding here. 
But for, for the purposes of this uh, project, I am not going to add that piece. So there you have how to assemble this one can scaffolding structure, MDF, from Ironheart Artisans. Thanks for watching, please subscribe, and I'll have more videos to come.